Good afternoon. This is All India Radio. I am Valsa Williams and with me is Vaibhav Jyotsna Srivastava with the Midday News. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi chairs virtual meeting of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research says India is committed to become self-reliant in every sector. Prime Minister says India is showing the way to the world in the field of sustainable development, clean energy and green hydrogen technologies. Number of active and fresh cases of COVID-19 declines significantly. National recovery rate improves to 93.08%. The country registers a daily positivity rate less than 10% for the 11th consecutive day. Over 1,32,000 new COVID cases reported in the last 24 hours. More than 22 crore, 41 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccine administered in the country so far. Environment Minister Prakash Zavdekar calls for adopting water conservation technologies and changing water use habits. Reserve Bank of India keeps key rates unchanged in its bi-monthly monetary policy. Gross domestic product growth rate projected to be at 9.5% for the current fiscal year. And in French Open tennis, top seeds have a smooth sail in the third round. In the wake of COVID-19, we appeal to our listeners not to lower their guard and stay safe and protected by following these four simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain dogas ki duri for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene and get vaccinated. For providing COVID-related information and guidance to people, national helpline numbers 011 239 and 1075 are operational. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that India is committed to become self-reliant in every sector. He said the global COVID-19 pandemic has slowed down the pace to achieve the target, but it is our resolve to become self-reliant and strong in multiple sectors. He was chairing the virtual meeting of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, CSIR Society, today. Mr. Modi said India is committed to become self-reliant in agriculture to astronomy, disaster management to defense technology and vaccines to virtual reality. He said India is showing the way to the world in the field of sustainable development and clean energy. He said India is playing the role of an engine in the development of the world by accelerating the development of other countries in the fields of software to satellites. Aaj Bharat एग्रीकल्चर से एस्ट्रोनॉमी तक डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट से डिफेंस टेक्नोलॉजी तक वैक्सीन से लेकर के वर्चुअल रियलिटी तक बायोटेक्नोलॉजी से लेकर के बैटरी टेक्नोलॉजी तक हर दिशा में आत्मनिर्भर और सशक्त बनना चाहता है आज भारत सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट और क्लीन एनर्जी के क्षेत्र में दुनिया को रास्ता दिखा रहा है आज हम सॉफ्टवेयर से लेकर सैटेलाइट तक दूसरे देशों के विकास को भी गति दे रहे हैं। He said the COVID-19 pandemic has posed the biggest challenge of this century, but science has paved the way for a better future. He said creating solutions in crisis situations and creating possibilities is a fundamental vision of science. He said the scientists have made the country self-reliant in production of COVID testing kits, medicines, and oxygen. He said the country is successfully dealing with the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic with the help of efforts made by the scientists. मानवता को इतनी बड़ी आपदा से उबारने के लिए एक साल के भीतर वैक्सीन बनाकर लोगों को दे देने का ये इतना बड़ा काम इतिहास में पहली बार हुआ हुआ शायद बीती शताब्दी का अनुभव है जब पहले कोई खोज दुनिया के दूसरे देशों में होती थी तो भारत को उसके लिए कई कई साल तक इंतजार करना पड़ता था लेकिन आज हमारे देश के वैज्ञानिक दूसरे देशों के साथ कंधे से कंधा मिलाकर मानव जात की सेवा करने में जुटे हुए हैं चल रहे हैं उतनी ही तेज गति से काम कर रहे हैं 
Appreciating the role of Indian scientists in developing the indigenous COVID vaccine within a year, the Prime Minister said the scale and speed with which this work has been done is unprecedented. He said developing a vaccine in such a short time is perhaps the first such event in history. हमारे वैज्ञानिकों ने एक साल में ही Made in India Corona वैक्सीन बनाई और देशवासियों के लिए उपलब्ध करवा दी। एक साल में ही हमारे वैज्ञानिकों ने कोविड टेस्टिंग किट्स और अपनी जरूरी उपकरणों से देश को आत्मनिर्भर बना दिया। इतने कम समय में ही हमारे वैज्ञानिकों ने कोरोना से लड़ाई में नई-नई प्रभावी दवाएं तलाशी, ऑक्सीजन प्रोडक्शन को स्पीडअप करने के रास्ते खोजे। आपके इस योगदान से, इस असाधारण प्रतिभा से ही देश इतनी बड़ी लड़ाई लड़ रहा है। he said Indian scientists are walking shoulder to shoulder with other countries and working at the same speed. Praising the efforts of the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research in the development of various technologies, Mr. Modi said science and technology achieve heights in any country wherein it develops better synergy with industry and market. He said CSIR is working as an institutional arrangement to maintain a synergized ecosystem of science, society and industry. He said CSIR has a powerful ecosystem of research and patents. He said that goals and dreams of the country are based on the foundation of the 21st century. Hence, the goals of CSIR are also extraordinary. Mr. Modi said CSIR has to take along the industry as well as society. He suggested that CSIR should make the information about its work accessible to people, which would encourage scientific aspirations among the people. Recalling the role of eminent scientist Shanti Sarup Bhatnagar, he said the future has a lot of expectations from scientists. He said it is necessary to prepare for the future's challenges so that solutions can be found for upcoming disasters. Referring to the threat of climate change, he said scientists have to be prepared for similar challenges. The Union Minister for Science and Technology, Dr. Harshvardhan, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman and Railway Minister Piyush Goel were present on the occasion. Scientific Advisor to Prime Minister K. Vijay Raghavan, Director General of CSIR Shekhar Mande, several eminent scientists and industry representatives were also present during the event. Amid the second wave of COVID-19 pandemic, India is witnessing a significant decline in active caseloads and fresh cases of coronavirus. The Union Health Ministry said the recovery rate is continuously improving in the country and it has reached 93.08%. During the last 24 hours, over 2,7,000 patients recovered from the disease. So far, over 2 crore 65 lakh patients have recovered from the infectious disease. The Health and Family Welfare Ministry has said the active caseload presently comprises 5.73% of the cumulative positive cases and it is continuously declining. At present, there are over 16,35,000 active cases in the country. The country is also witnessing a declining trend in the weekly and daily positivity rate. India's weekly positivity rate currently stands at 7.27%. For the 11th consecutive day today, the country has registered a daily positivity rate less than 10%. The country registered over 1,32,000 new COVID cases in the last 24 hours. The Union Health Ministry said a total of 2,713 deaths were reported within the last 24 hours, taking the toll to over 3,40,000 across the country. India has administered more than 22 crore 41 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccine in the country so far. During the last 24 hours, a total of over 28 lakh 75 thousand vaccine doses were administered. The country had launched the world's largest vaccination drive on the 16th of January this year. COVID vaccine is one of the most crucial factors in the fight against the coronavirus disease. The liberalized and accelerated phase 3 strategy of the COVID-19 vaccination drive has already started in the country. The union government is continuously providing vaccines to the states and union territories so that a large number of people can be vaccinated. More in this report. 
द गवर्नमेंट हैज सेट डेट द सेंटर इज एलोकेटिंग इनफ वैक्सीन टू द स्टेट इन अ ट्रांसपेरेंट मैनर स्टेट आर ऑल्सो बींग इन्फॉर्म इन एडवांस अबाउट द एवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ वैक्सीन डोजेज द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट हैज प्रोवाइडेड ओवर ट्वेंटी फोर करोड़ ट्वेंटी वन लैख कोविड वैक्सीन डोजेज टू स्टेट एंड यूनियन टेरिटरीज सोफा ऑफ दिस द टोटल कंजम्पन ऑफ डोजेज इज ओवर ट्वेंटी टू करोड़ ट्वेंटी सेवन लैख मोर देन वन करोड़ नाइन्टी थ्री लैख कोविड वैक्सीन डोजेज आर स्टिल अवेलेबल विद स्टेट एंड यूनियन टेरिटरीज द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट इज ऑल्सो फैसिलिटेटिंग डायरेक्ट प्रोक्योरमेंट ऑफ वैक्सीन बाय द स्टेट एंड यूनियन टेरिटरीज द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट हैज स्ट्रेस डेट वैक्सीन अवेलेबिलिटी इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज इन द नियर फ्यूचर इट इज एस्टिमेटेड डेट ओवर टू हंड्रेड करोड़ डोजेज ऑफ वैक्सीन विल बी अरेन्ज बाय द एंड ऑफ दिसंबर दिस ईयर भूपेन्द्र सिंह ए आर न्यूज डेली In Bikaner district of Rajasthan oxygen mitras were deputed in every covid care center so that wastage of oxygen could be prevented more than 100 cylinders of oxygen were saved every day in the district a report The Bikaner administration prepared a plan for monitoring each bed to prevent wastage of oxygen under this about 140 nursing students were deployed as oxygen mitras oxygen mitra deployed in three shifts have been handed over the responsibility of monitoring the oxygen flow keeping an eye on every bed they maintain the flow of oxygen as per the requirement of the patient a team of district level officials is deployed in the war room to monitor the oxygen supply and wastage through cctv cameras prime minister Mr. Narendra Modi appreciated the this initiative of the Bikaner administration Jitendra Divedi AIR News Jaipur Madhya Pradesh reported 846 new cases of coronavirus infection and 50 deaths yesterday along with the recovery of 3746 patients the number of active cases reduced to 14186 the positivity rate reduced to 1% more from our correspondent More than 20 new cases of corona reported in three districts of Indore, Bhopal and Jabalpur. No new positive case has been reported in three districts of Alirajpur, Jhabua and Katni. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan while reviewing the situation and arrangements of corona in the state has said that now no district of the state is in the red zone from the point of view of covid infection. The state is rapidly coming out of the corona infection. The weekly average positivity rate of all 52 districts is less than 5 Pooja P. Vardhan, AIR News, Bhopal. In Maharashtra's Solapur district, COVID care centers are being set up in each village to ensure that the patients are treated immediately and cured. 100 such new COVID care centers are being set up in the district and 60 of them have already started functioning. More from our Mumbai correspondent. In Solapur district, COVID care centers are being set up in every village with a population of above 5,000. Patients with mild symptoms are being admitted to these COVID care centers. Health workers and private doctors from the villages are being hired for these COVID centers. The medicines required for the patients are being provided by the Zilla Parishad and for other materials. Help is being sought from the donors and social organizations in the village. The district has one medical college, three sub-district hospitals, 14 rural hospitals, 77 primary health centers and 431 sub-centers serving patients. Along with 77 primary health centers in rural areas, new COVID care centers will be set up at 33 other places and they are functioning at 60 places madhuri pange air news mumbai in karnataka the pre university board has cancelled the 12th standard board examination due to the coronavirus pandemic keeping the safety of students in mind minister for primary and secondary education suresh kumar informed media persons in bengaluru today that the students will be promoted based on the marks obtained by the students in the 11th standard a notification issued by the board says that those not happy with the marks obtained may appear for the 12th standard exam to be organized after the pandemic situation situation improves the repeaters who had failed in the exam earlier or those taking the exam as private candidates are also asked to appear for the exams to be conducted after the situation stabilizes more from our correspondent the state will conduct 10th standard exam after following covid protocol saying that there is no previous assessment model for the 10th standard the ministry informed media persons today that optical mark readers based examination in multiple choice question format would be held for 120 marks a single question paper will be prepared for science math and social studies subjects it will be a 3 hour exam apart from question paper on core subjects another question paper on first second and third languages will also be held the grades will be awarded as a 
A, B and C based on the marks obtained. It has been decided to open 6000 examination centers with only 100 students in each center, 12 in each room and one student on each bench. Sudhindra AIR News, Bengaluru. A dedicated community support helpline has been operationalized by the Ministry of Ayush to provide Ayush-based approaches and solutions for the challenges posed by COVID-19. The toll-free number is 1443. The helpline is operational pan-India from 6 a.m. till midnight all seven days of the week. The national helpline of the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare for COVID-related queries is 1075. The child helpline number of the Ministry of Women and Child Development is 1098. For senior citizens of Delhi, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand, the helpline number of the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment is 14567. The helpline number of National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences, name Hans, for psychological support is 08046 You are listening to the Midday News on All India Radio. A reminder of the headlines before we move on. Prime Minister Narendra Modi chairs virtual meeting of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, says India is committed to become self-reliant in every sector. Prime Minister says India is showing way to the world in the field of sustainable development, clean energy and green hydrogen technologies. Number of active and fresh cases of COVID-19 declined significantly. National recovery rate improves to 93.08%. The country registers a daily positivity rate less than 10% for the 11th consecutive day. Over 1,32,000 new COVID cases reported in the last 24 hours. More than 22 crore 41 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccine administered in the country so far. Environment Minister Prakash Zavadekar calls for adopting water conservation technologies and changing water use habits. Reserve Bank of India keeps key rates unchanged in its bi-monthly monetary policy. Gross domestic product growth rate projected to be at 9.5% for the current fiscal year. And in French Open tennis, top seeds have a smooth sail in the third round. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at the rate AIR News Alerts. Welcome back to the Midday News. The Indian Institute of Technology, IIT Hyderabad, has developed nanofiber-based oral tablets of amphotericin B, called AMBI, to treat fungal infections post-COVID treatment. Currently, AMBI is available in injectable form. The IIT Hyderabad researchers have decided to keep the technology free of intellectual property rights and ready for technology transfer. For mass production of the drug, which is reportedly cheaper, has higher AMB absorption and less nephrotoxicity. Professor Saptarshi Mojumdar and Dr. Chandrasekhar Sharma from the Department of Chemical Engineering have made a study two years ago about oral nanofibrous AMB to be effective for Kala Azar, Professor Saptarishi said they are confident that the technology can be transferred to suitable pharma partners for large-scale production. As the main idea behind our research is to find a solution to serve a society, this technology which is developed at IIT Hyderabad is made free from IP so that it can be mass produced and is affordable and available to the public at large. This drug amphotericin B is a drug of choice for progressive and potentially life-threatening fungal infections. It is also used to treat the kalajar or black fungus, a dangerous and often the fatal form of the less menaces. We believe that this development of oral and controlled release tablets for the fatal fungal infections could help in better management of the disease burden in the country. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin has urged the centre to provide at least 30,000 vials of liposomal amphotericin B to the state immediately. In a letter written to Union Health Minister Dr. Harshvardhan, he said presently 673 cases of mucormycosis patients 
are receiving treatment in various parts of the state, pointing out that it is the only drug used in the treatment. He said the state had already placed an order for 35,000 vials. The chief minister said that till now the state had received only 1,790 vials of the medicine and urged him to personally intervene and do the needful. Kolkata Municipal Corporation has started a drive-in vaccination centre at a shopping mall in South Kolkata. Chief of Board of Administrators of KMC Firhad Hakim flagged off the drive this morning. The drive-in vaccination facility will be available till the 15th of June for citizens above 45 years of age. Slot booking can be done through KMC's WhatsApp chatbot after registration in the CoVin app. Veteran filmmaker and fashion designer Muzaffar Ali says there is no better way of facing the coronavirus than getting vaccinated. Speaking exclusively to AIR News, the maker of classic films like Umrao Jan and Gaman said he has got both his doses of the vaccine. I've had my vaccination, both the doses, against COVID-19 and it's my sincere recommendation that each one of us should get themselves vaccinated. There's no better way to save yourself to keep you safe from this deadly pandemic. Environment, Forest and Climate Change Minister Prakash Zavdekar has stressed on water conservation by adopting conservation technologies and changing the water use habits. Addressing Terry's World Sustainable Development Summit today on the eve of World Environment Day, Mrs. Avdekar said availability of water is continuously declining in the country due to various factors. He said agriculture sector consumes 85% of available water. There is a basic necessity to save, reuse and repurpose. So the Availability of water when we became independent was 5,000 liters per capita. Now it has become 1,100 liters. So this is a basic decline of availability because of population growth, because of cattle population growth and because of various uses. Now agriculture is consuming nearly 85% of the water. So the first saving should come from agriculture. There are new technologies, sprinkling, drip, irrigation and there are other methods also and they are succeeding. The minister said water conservation methods should be used in the agriculture sector for better management of available water resources. The Reserve Bank of India, RBI, today kept the key rates unchanged in its bi-monthly monetary policy statement. RBI Governor Shakti Kanta Das said the projected gross domestic product growth will be 9.5% for the financial year of uh, 2021-22. Real GDP growth is now projected at 9.5% in 2021-22, consisting of 18.5% in first quarter, 7.9% 7.9% in second quarter, 7.2% in the third quarter and 6.6% in the fourth quarter of 2021-22. He said the RBI has kept the repo rate unchanged at 4.25% for the sixth time in a row. The marginal standing facility that is MSF rate and the bank rate remain unchanged at 4.25%. The reverse repo rate also remains unchanged at 3.35%. The RBI has also maintained a commutative monetary policy stance to support growth and kept inflation at targeted level, he said. Kerala Finance Minister K. N. Balagupal presented the maiden budget of the new government at the State Legislative Assembly today. More from our correspondent. The State Finance Minister announced Rs 2,000 crore for special COVID package to tide over the crisis induced by the second wave of the pandemic. The budget also set aside Rs 1,000 crores to provide free vaccination for everyone aged above 18 years and an additional allocation of Rs 500 crores for vaccination facilities. The budget also proposed a six-point program for the strengthening of health sector considering the concerns over the third wave of the pandemic. No new tax proposals were announced in the budget considering the economic impact of the pandemic. The budget further announced a comprehensive package of Rs 5,300 crores for coastal region development. The budget promised strengthening of facilities for online learning. Rs 2,000 crore loan package has been announced for agriculture sector, Rs 1,600 crores for new industrial initiatives and 100 crores as interest subsidies. Mayusha for Air News from Tiruvannadapuram. 
In order to improve mobile network services in Ladakh, nearly 100 towers would be installed in the next couple of months. Here's a report. In the backdrop of the students and youths demanding for the quality of mobile network data services in Ladakh to avail online classes and even vaccination, the UT IT Secretary Sagat Biswas reviewed mobile network situation in Ladakh. There are instances students climbing to hills in far-flung remote villages to catch the mobile signals to access online study material. In the review meeting, UT Secretary Sagat Biswas demanded for improved services from the state operator and the three other prominent private telecom service networks. Private operators are sure to increase their spectrum from 5 MHz to 10 MHz to improve the quality of connectivity. On the other hand, two service providers informed administration about installing an additional 93 mobile towers. Mr. Sogoth informed the mobile operators that UT requested the Indian Army to expedite permissions for the laying of OFC erection of mobile towers in border villages. Ramesh Chandra, Alinda Radio News, Leh. In men's section of the French Open tennis, top ranked and former champions Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer advanced to the men's third round. Defending champion Igor Swiatek breezed through to the third round of women's singles, beating Rebecca Peterson 6-1, 6-1. India's 41-year-old double specialist Rohan Bopanna and his Croatian partner Franco Shugo sailed into the pre-quarterfinals with a straight-set win over Americans Francis Tiafo and Nicholas Munro. The women's top-ranked Ash Barty retired from her second-round match against Polish opponent Magda Lynette after trailing 1-6-2-2 due to her painful hip yesterday. Now let us take a look at the weather update for today. National capital Delhi is having partly cloudy sky. The maximum temperature will be around 40 degrees Celsius. Minimum was 26 degrees. Mumbai is facing partly cloudy sky. Maximum temperature will be around 34 degrees Celsius, rising from a lower level of 26 degrees. Kolkata is having partly cloudy sky with possibility of moderate rain or thunderstorm. The city temperature will move from a minimum of 29 degrees to a maximum of around 37 degrees degrees. Chennai is witnessing generally cloudy sky with light rain or drizzle. Upper limit of temperature will be 37 degrees while the lower limit was 29 degrees. Srinagar is facing a mainly clear sky becoming partly cloudy towards evening. The temperature will hover between 15 and 27 degrees. Jammu is having partly cloudy sky becoming generally cloudy towards evening or night. The temperature will rise from a minimum of 23 degrees to a maximum of around 33 degrees. Leh is seeing partly cloudy sky. The upper limit of temperature will be around 20 from minimum of 6 degrees Celsius. Gilgit is having partly cloudy sky. Temperature will move from a minimum of 17 to a maximum of around 36 degrees. In Muzaffarabad, sky is partly cloudy. The temperature will increase from a minimum of 16 degrees to a maximum of around 26 degrees. There are zones experiencing partly cloudy sky with possibility of development of thunder and lightning. The upper limit of temperature will be around 35 degrees from minimum of 21 degrees. Chandigarh, the sky is partly cloudy with one or two spells of rain or thunder showers. Temperature is likely to rise to 36 degrees from 25 degrees. In Hyderabad, rain or thunder showers would occur towards evening or night. Temperatures will fluctuate between 25 to 36 degrees Celsius. Ahmedabad is having partly cloudy sky with possibility of rain or thunderstorm or dust storm. Maximum temperature will be around 38 degrees, while minimum was 25 degrees. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi chairs virtual meeting of Council of Scientific and Industrial Research says India is committed to become self-reliant in every sector. Prime Minister says India is showing the way to the world in the field of sustainable development, clean energy and green hydrogen technologies. Number of active and fresh cases of COVID-19 declines significantly. National recovery rate improves to 93.08%. The country registers a daily positivity rate less than 10% for, for 11th consecutive day. Over 1,32,000 new COVID cases reported in the last 24 hours. More than 22 crore, 41 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccine administered in the country so far. 
Environment Minister Prakash Javadekar calls for adopting water conservation technologies and changing water use habits. Reserve Bank of India keeps key rates unchanged in its bi-monthly monetary policy. Gross domestic product growth rate projected to be at 9.5% for current fiscal year. And in French Open tennis, top seeds have a smooth sale in the third round. And with that, we end the midday news.